Hi guys, it's John here. Music theory lesson 12. Wow. <laughs> okay, I bet you think you've walked into some mad professor's room and looked at uh, a chalkboard. It's like something from the NASA Institute, this is. Uh, this will make no sense to anybody who hasn't done the previous lessons. I hope it's going to make sense to you guys if you've been following it methodically, 1 through to 11. I call this music theory in a nutshell. There's my nutshell, okay? That's a picture of a nutshell, okay? I've never had an art lesson in my life. Would you believe it? <laughs> You're okay. Uh, no laughing at the back. Right, we'll get, here we go. Top, top corner, left-hand corner. Big M means major, small M means minor. Music theory is like building a brick wall. And the first row of bricks is the foundations, and they must be strong. So you must know this first first fact. The first thing was, is the chrome attic scale. Do you remember the chrome attic? I drew a little picture. Uh, my other little art offering in lesson one. The chrome attic scale contains 12 notes. And basically what I'm saying, there's only 12 notes in music. No more, no less. Anybody else telling you that different, they're telling you a lie. That is a fact. All these are facts on this, on this board. So here's the C chromatic scale or if I started on B it would be the B chromatic scale it, it just loops round C C sharp D D sharp E F F sharp G G sharp A A sharp B C C sharp I should have made a point in saying the hash symbol is a sharp the weirdy lowercase B is a flat we have things called enharmonic equivalents so what I mean by that is two names for the same sound a C sharp for instance is a D flat a D sharp is an E flat. There is no sharp between E and F, and there, and we'll come to another bit in a minute. F sharp is G flat, G sharp is A flat, A sharp is B flat, and there's no sharp between B and C. There's another fact. So there's no sharp or flat between E and F and B and C. Fact. We don't have a B sharp, we don't have a C sharp. Not at this moment in time. Is the enharmonic equivalence again two two names for the, the for one sound or one and here it is condensed in this little book C sharp is D flat D sharp is E flat F sharp is G flat G sharp is A flat A sharp is B flat we've done that the next row of bricks that we we, we put on the chroma, or we take from the chromatic scale to build this house is the major scale. A major scale. What is a major scale? It's got a specific formula. It's made of tones and semitone. What is a tone? A tone is equal to two notes. Our American friends across the pond call a tone a W, a whole step. A semi semitone. I was going to go into America. A semitone. A semitone is equal to one note, or a half step, as American friends would call it. So we got tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Tina Turner's shoes, Tina Turner's training shoes. Remember that one? Anyway, so I've con I've constructed a C major scale here. Do I need to do it? Okay. A C upper tone is two notes. So C, that's a D. That's where I'm going to get that up. Now I need to go D upper tone. So what's that? D upper tone is two notes, E. That's where I'm going to get that E. Then I need to go with semitone. Semitone is one note. Remember, I was there, so it's an E to an F. Okay, I need to go F upper tone. F upper tone is G. Then I need to go G upper tone, so which is A. Then I need to go A upper tone, which is B. Then I have to go to B upper semitone, which is C. There we go. That's figured that out. You then apportion numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one to any of the major scales. How many major scales guys? 12! Of course there are because there's only 12 but there's 12 of everything. So you can have the key of C sharp and do the same thing, tone tone semitone, key of D and so forth. Okay the next lessons were about basically building the thing, next row of bricks now, is the major triad. What is a triad? It's nothing to do with the Chinese Mafia I hope not. Anyway, I don't want them around here. Okay, uh, <laughs> this is a major triad means it's a three-note chord. Some people think there's more than three notes in a major chord. 
Well, I'm telling you, there ain't. Okay, they're just doubled up in, in various octaves. If you've got six notes on a guitar, it's just the same three notes, but being repeated. Okay, fact. So, how do we get a major triad? The formula is, you take the first note, and the third note, and the fifth note of a major scale. This is example C. So, the first note is C, the third note is E, and G. That's where we get C, E, G. That's, just, that's the formula for a major chord, or a major triad. A minor chord, or a minor triad, is the, the first and the fifth are the same, but you flatten the third. When you flatten a note, say this is the E, and you flatten the third, uh, you go back one semitone. So, for instance, there's an E, if I go down, flat, that's an E flat. That's where I'm getting that term. C, E flat, G, minor triad. Okay, we did make mention of the thing called a diminished triad, not a demented triad. Okay, it's a diminished triad. The formula is first, flattened third, and this is a flattened fifth. So, for instance, the C is the same. I'm using the example key of C. E, we've already talked about. If you flatten it, it becomes an E flat. Now, a G from a major uh, triad is a fifth, but I want a flat fifth. So, a G, if I find a G and flatten it, it's G flat. So, they're the notes of a diminished triad. Are you with me? Hopefully, <laughs> you are. You're keeping with it. Brilliant. I then went on to like do this crazy picture association of learning the major triads and made a big point of understanding it and here they condensed the first third and fifth of all the natural keys C E G was spark keg G B D was great big dog D F sharp eight was deaf aid A C sharp E was remember Sean go on do your Sean Connery with me yeah A C H okay <laughs> you know I enjoy doing that one uh, a C sharp E and uh, Sean having his English breakfast because he's having eggs and bacon with Miss Moneypenny okay and B D sharp F sharp was B D I'd frog uh, fish sorry B D I'd fish with the D sharp and F sharp it's the only triad that's got two sharps and finally fac sorry face I can't say that uh, but we took the E off. FAC is uh, that. To make a minor triad, all you do is you get all the middle notes and you flatten them. So E becomes E flat. So it's C E flat G is C minor. B becomes B flat. So it's G minor. F sharp becomes F. So it's D F A is D minor. C sharp becomes a C. So A C E is A minor. G sharp flattened becomes a G. So it's E G B, which is E minor. D sharp becomes D, which is B, D, F sharp, which is B minor. And finally, F, A, C, A, A becomes A flat, so it's F minor. Whoa, how are we doing? Right, chords in a key, that was the next lesson, the next row of bricks. If you don't know all the previous ones, like I say, then you're going in, entering and you look at my lessons and it won't make sense. It's, it's just like, a, it's going to be like a, a wonky wall it's going to just teeter and totter and break and wobble and fall so you need to know these in these order chords in a key tone tone semitone tone 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 semitone exactly the major scale and we did we construct it but this is the new rule if you build the chords it's going to major second chords minor third chords minor fourth chords major fifth chords major six chords minor, seventh chords are diminished and back to major. So for instance in C major it's C major D becomes D minor because DM small m E minor is the three chord, four chord is F major, five chord is G major, six chord is A minor, B chord is B diminished and C chord is um, back to C chord. So well, the one, the four, and five in any chord is always a major. Look, one, four, five in any uh, scale, rather, major scale, and there's 12 scales. The two, three, and six are always minor, and that leaves this oddball, seven, which is always a diminished. How are we doing? We do use the keyboard as a reference to find some no notes, and I just showed you that there's a pattern to a keyboard. There's two black notes, and then there's a break uh, in the middle, and there's a 
two black notes is a break, two black notes and a break. Two black notes left of it is always a C, two notes left. Three black notes is always left is an F. Finally, lesson 11 or something around about there, if you haven't lost the will to live, is basically constructing all the, no the notes of a C major scale and showing you how that comes down. This is, shows C, E, G is C major. D, F, A is a D minor. E, G, B is a, e, uh, an E minor. F, A, C is an F major. It's very cramped here, guys, but take my word for me. That's a G, B, D, which is G major. That's an A, C, and E here, which is A minor. And a B, D, F is a beam diminished and back to C, E, G. It's very cramped. But that is it. Okay, so there are all the bullet points. If you've stayed with the course, and I hope you can see this, that I'd make a, if you can, if you, if you, if you can be bothered, or if you, if, you, if you really want to, I'd make a, I'd write that down, because there are all the bullet points to what we're doing. And we need to know this to make the big push to do the next thing where we're going to work out songs and all these things. So these are all the, the main things, then we can do our applications. So... I'm going to have a uh, sit down. I've got a new cup here, which is uh, music everything. I'm going to have a nice cup of tea. As you can see, oh, there's all music theory on that. Look, that's great. I can even revise and bone up and uh, study my music while I'm drinking my tea. I hope I don't just spill it over my lap. I'm going to see you guys. And uh, thank you for, for the kind comments. And, and I hope if it's making sense, brilliant. If it isn't, Please go over the other, the lessons again uh, because it's going to be really worthwhile to you. Okay, all the best now and I'll see you soon.